Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, today we will see how to install, how to set up the Eclipse without installing the JDK. Yes, you guys only need a archive files of both Eclipse as well as JDK. So without launching the EXE, we can set up our Eclipse environment and we can start our development. So I will explain you step by step. Before proceeding, uh, I have a request you guys if you think this video is useful so please like this video and share with your friends as well and if you want such regular useful videos on my channel so guys please press this subscribe button also click on this bell icon to get latest video updates so guys going to start so here in the first step we need Eclipse archive file and we need a JDK archive so here I'm going to download the Eclipse archive so I am choosing the version oxygen Eclipse oxygen and here I'm going to download from the download page of the Eclipse website so here we go so this is the Eclipse foundation and uh, here we have uh, so many download links so we have to click on this 3a package and uh, we will be redirected to this page and here we have uh, to install the 64-bit because I am using the 64-bit machine and uh, right now we will have this button then we have to click to start the download and after 3 and 4 seconds our download uh, will start okay so downloading is starting and you can see on the left corner so this Eclipse zip file is 334 MB so it will take some time but it depends on your uh, network speed if you have a powerful network speed so you can get it download very soon very soon so I'm um, after downloading I will start next step okay so downloading is done so I am uh, pasting this file in a separate folder okay also I'm going to download the zip file of the JDK if you guys have separately available so you can pick up those one or you can download from the net as well so here I have uh, pre-downloaded so I have placed the JDK uh, next to the Eclipse okay right here I'm going to extract the Eclipse because this is zip file we need a folder so we are extracting here so extraction will take a two and a maximum two minutes depends on your uh, machine speed okay we will wait for the extraction okay it's done and the uh, Eclipse G JSON folder is created now we will look into this folder so there's an Eclipse folder and inside this we have some uh, important files as well as we have eclipse.exe which is the launcher file of the Eclipse environment okay guys we going back to our parent folder so you can see there is a JDK folder so in the second step we have to copy this folder and we will place inside the Eclipse folder okay so I am doing the same here going inside the Eclipse so you have to paste at this place so the JDK folder will be adjacent to the eclipse.exe file okay this will take uh, some time so we have to wait till then okay so the JDK folder is created inside the eclipse folder it's going to be completed 75 percent is complete till now and a few more percent remaining so guys uh, here we have eclipse.ini files as you can see uh, this is the the settings defined inside the eclipse.ini file so you have to open in the notepad or notepad plus plus okay now we will launch the eclipse and we will see so this is giving me an error that java runtime environment which is not found that means we have not configured here on my machine Java okay so for the demonstration purpose I'm showing you this thing and uh, we have only the JDK folder right here just uh, in the same folder so what we have to do we have to go inside the JDK folder then we have to go inside JRE then uh, we will go inside the bin folder and we have to look up for the file java w.exe 
okay and uh, we have to copy the path up to this file so you can do right click and you can find the location you can get the path in such a way and you can copy and come back to this file eclipse.ini file so here we have to do some minor edit okay at uh, line number 13 just click and uh, press enter and uh, create a space and just type vm that means we are specifying the virtual machine for the eclipse so you have to write hyphen vm and then you have to paste the copied path at this place also you have to place the slash and you have to give the name of java w.exe okay so you have to give the path up to java.exe that is the important step okay hyphen vm then space and then you have to paste the path up to java w.exe once you done just save this file okay this was the important step that we have done okay now minimizing it and uh, we again try to launch eclipse.exe by double clicking on it so going back to the uh, the eclipse folder where we have eclipse.exe just double click on it and you will see the magic okay it's great so eclipse is launched now so so here eclipse is uh, uh, loading the required jdk file from the given parameter that we have set inside the dot ini file uh, like we have given the path hyphen vm space and then we pasted that uh, file path up to java w.exe so this is picking up the jdk in that way so here eclipse is ready to start your development so this is workspace you can proceed further so guys this was the way you can uh, launch your eclipse without installing the exe of jdk file i hope you found this video useful so guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and please share with your friends as well and thanks for watching